Game development is a collaborative process. Even if you're solo, it takes at least a developer and a player to make a game successful, which is why I always recommend getting feedback on your game as early and as regularly as possible. Of course, that's easier said than done. Alpha builds are always filled with bugs that usually makes playtesting impossible. The cycle of adding a mechanic, sharing a build, and then having to fix all the bugs gets old pretty fast. Wouldn't it be nice if the player could reset your game to a good state when errors occur? Or better yet, get some low-level in-game feedback they could use to report what went wrong. Well, thankfully, that's actually possible in Unity with something called Quantum Console. Quantum Console is a Unity asset that adds an in-game console to your game. You can use it to view log messages, execute C-sharp code, and run your very own custom commands, all within a compiled and running Unity project. As we'll see in a moment, Quantum Console is a great tool for debugging your project on the fly when you don't have access to the code. Plus, you can use it to add cheat codes to your game. We'll dive into all of that in a moment, but first... This video is part of a monthly series in which I share my favorite productivity assets in Unity. If you like what you see and want to support the channel, please consider using the affiliate link in the description of this video. All right, let's start by importing Quantum Console into our example project. Next, let's add a console to our scene by dragging the Quantum Console prefab into our hierarchy, which is found in the Quantum Console folder. By the way, you'll notice that the developer of this asset has placed all of their files and code inside of the plugins folder. This is great for the organization of your project, but it also helps cut down on the time it takes for your project to build. So kudos to the developer there. Okay, with the Quantum Console prefab securely in our scene, we can go ahead and press play. And look at that, we already have a working console, except you won't be able to type anything, not until we add an event system to our scene. So let's do that now and try again. Perfect, now we can type whatever command we want. Which leads us to a very important question. What commands are available out of the box? To answer that, we'll need to look at the Quantum Console documentation. Let's click on the Documentation tab, and then navigate to the Included Commands section, where we'll find a list of all of the commands that come pre-packaged with this asset, including one called Commands, which displays this exact list right inside of your game. And if we want to dig a little deeper, we can learn more about each one by using the man command, short for manual. Let's see what the timescale command does by entering in man timescale. Looks like it lets us get and set the current timescale, which is a property that Unity exposes. If we enter timescale, we can see that it's currently set to one, which is why our movement is so responsive. But if we call it again and pass on a value, we can see that the timescale of our scene is updated at runtime, which is pretty awesome. Now, this is great, but who wants to run a bunch of built-in commands when you could run your own custom ones? So why don't we create some? To do that, let's create a dedicated script to hold them. We can call it console commands and open it up in our editor. For now, we'll be working with static commands, so let's clear out all of this boilerplate code. Now we can create our first command. To keep things simple, we're gonna start with a command that writes logs to the console. With Quantum Console, each command is represented by a method or property. So let's create a static method called log with a string parameter for the message. And then add a call to debug.log. Perfect. Now, all we have to do is mark this method with the command attribute, and we'll be ready to run it in our scene. Beautiful, let's switch back to Unity and test this out. Press play and enter log hello world. Pretty cool, right? And we can even run man log to get some preliminary details based on some sensible defaults. But it would be nice to add our own custom information. So let's take a look at the documentation to see what we can do. 
Here in the section on commands, we can see that Quantum Console lets us define multiple aliases, a description, and even the supported platforms, which all show up on the manual page. Back in our code editor, let's start by overriding the default command alias with a lowercase log, because all the other commands are lowercase and I want to be consistent without breaking my C-sharp coding conventions. Next, let's add a description. Logs a message to the console. Perfect, let's test it out. Type in man log. And there we can see that our manual now includes the description that we provided. Pretty easy, right? But we can take this one step further by providing an additional alias. I like to expose this same command using the alias print. We can do that by adding another command attribute with an alias override. However, in order for these two commands to share the same description, we'll need to pull it out and put it into its own dedicated attribute called command description. Now we'll be able to write logs to the console using both the log and print commands, and they'll both share the same description in their manual pages. Why don't we switch back to Unity one last time and see that in action. First, we'll test out log to make sure that it still works. Awesome. And then we can test out the print command, which by the way, has tab-based autocomplete support right out of the box. Meaning we can type in PRI and hit tab for a nice little shortcut. Beautiful. Now I mentioned that I'd show you how to add cheat codes to your game. So let's do that now. Back in our code editor, let's add a method called reset player health to our console commands class. All it'll do is search for the player in the scene and then set their health to 100. Great. Now, since this is a cheat code, we don't want this command to be obvious. So let's set the alias to the most famous cheat code name in the world. Konami. <laughs> All right, let's test it out. As we can see, the player is currently at half health. So let's run our cheat. And look at that, full health, baby. I love this asset. As you can see, Quantum Console is an incredibly powerful and easy to use Unity asset. And we've only just scratched the surface of what it can do. If you're considering picking up a copy, again, please consider using my affiliate link in the description of this video. It really does help support the channel. Well, that's it for this month's productivity asset. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Special thanks to Dark Rush Photography, Glasswell Entertainment, Nav from Academy of Games, R Star, Thomas, Trond, Yusuf Ali Castle, and Jakob Al Safari. Thanks, guys.